difficult thing to make. I and mean, I have these little I have these little pans. So I okay. add a little bit more butter into the pan just right before we add the egg. Okay. And then in the egg goes. So beautiful. Oh, so pretty. So it's like a little bready frittata. Exactly. Everything's in there already, so you don't have to have okay. bread on the side. Pull the edges. Everything's there. I twirl around the edges. And then mine's a little bit hot, so I'm taking it off the fire here and doing this all off the stove. OK. And then all you're looking to do is get rid of the... Uh, do you put this under the broiler? Yes. I, I'm just getting rid of the big piles of raw egg until it's more of a, you know, a slick on top of a little bit of raw egg, and you know you can finish that in the mm -hmm. broiler. Okay. Is the broiler on? It is. The bottom, the bottom one is on. I can take your eggie if you like, or if okay, I'll take it. I'll, go, I'll walk with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then literally, what I do in the restaurant, I'm not sure how. I don't. How hot this I don't go is. away. Do you? I, 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 I count to myself. Okay. Out loud. How long? So literally, if I have to do that, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think mine's done. What do you think? I think that they're beautiful. Oh, I think so too. Look how gorgeous these look. Oh, how beautiful. Now, the big question is, do you turn them over or do you slide them out? I slide them out. Okay. You slide them out. Oh, you're gonna, I'm gonna get my little spatula. Mine can't slid out perfectly. Oh, you're a pro. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yep. There. Thank <gasps> you. That is the cutest thing, and we're going to make these for breakfast. Now, that's a little scallion on top. Yep. We like to we like to top uh, oh, our eggies so, with a little bit of green scallion. So pretty. And what kind of wine is that? Uh, we like to serve ours with a, a more high acidity white wine, and mm. it's cut through the creaminess. That of the is the cutest thing. And you know what? My chickens would be very happy to see their eggs turned into eggies. Give it a try. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. That's very nice. Martha's best Easter ideas on demand, free, on Comcast, Cox, Optimum, and DirecTV. To learn more, go to MarthaStewart.com. Since our audience is filled with chicken admirers and owners and lovers, I thought it would be fun to chat with some of them and hear their stories. Our first audience member is my special projects producer, Judy Morris, who, um, who started raising chickens how long ago, Judy? Last year. Just last year. I'm addicted to and, and why? Why did you decide to get chickens and complicate your life even, even further? further? <laughs> a mother of three little boys, wife of a giant husband, <laughs> uh, what, and a new house, and uh, living in the country, commuting to New York. It's complicated. It is, but chicken keeping is, is actually very easy. And um, I just thought it was so important for my boys to connect with farm animals again so that they really have some sense of where their food so is coming that? from. So who's that? Look. Oh, that's These Eddie. are the three boys. <laughs> and uh, I think with the last, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Peeking into the coop. Now, Judy recently got locked in the chicken coop for how long? Uh, two hours. For two hours? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, they're so fun and entertaining to watch, as, as you they? all know. But the Susan most Orlean exciting said that. She's just, uh, just mesmerized it by is. their antics, by their behavior, right. by what they do. And they are amusing, and they are interesting. It's endless entertainment. I don't know what's more fun, watching the boys with the chickens or watching the chickens being chickens. Right. But that first egg, I heard the excitement of that first egg being laid. And I raced down to the chicken coop and was so excited the door shut behind me. <laughs> and I went to get out and I, I was and definitely. It, and the, oh, the latch latched just. It was like one of those wooden swivel oh, latches gosh. and it, it fell down. So and, so. and your cell phone you didn't have with you? No, did not I have a cell phone. I warned Judy, anytime you go into the coop, now take I bring your my cell phone. Cell phone. <laughs> I keep one in the coop. Because nobody would That's think that. to go look for you in the chicken coop. No. <laughs> <laughs> the neighbor found me and I was huddled with a cochin. Oh my gosh. But it was, it was fun. Oh, well, that is a beautiful hand. Now, uh, do you name your chickens? 
I did. Yeah. And I don't think I'll do that in the future. Okay. With the children, you know, the boys. It's well, that's a beautiful, crazy. that's a bantam. And I was chick sitting. This was Billiams, but he just gave it to me. Oh, oh, so, you're, you're just chick sitting. Oh, This one, though, okay. is now given to me, so she's going to be coming to the Today Show for the rehearsal later today. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And, <laughs> and our uh, next audience member is Billiam, uh, Billiam, which is one of my favorite names, Van Rostenberg. I call every William Billiam. That's nice. Yeah. That's good. Is like that a that real name. name, Billiam? It's a family name. Oh, it is. And I have two people named after me. Oh, now. I thought I just made that up, Billiam. No. <laughs> but, um, but now what kind of uh, hen do you have? This is an name? old Dutch game, BB, a BB game rather. And uh, they're a wonderful variety. I highly recommend these to people because they're very friendly. They're a little bit smaller, and they lay these beautiful, tiny white eggs. Right, beautiful eggs, like like smaller than this. Yes, much smaller. Smaller than that. Than that. Yeah. Oh, how and they beautiful. come in all different colors, and they're very friendly. I go out in the morning to the chicken coop with a cup of tea, and they'll fly on my shoulder or my head. They're very gentle. And where's your coop? Character. The coop is just about 30 feet off the farmhouse. It's 100 feet long. Oh, look and at this. Now, this is an extraordinary chicken coop. 30 feet long. When I bought the in your farm, garden. Yep, right off the back of the house. I bought the farm 10 years ago, and I added the arbor to give some cool shade in the summer. Right. They need that. They really they need do. a yard that's shaded. And look, they have art on their walls <laughs> of the coop. coop. That looks like a beautiful flock. They're so happy in there. They're really happy. Yeah. But you were in my inspiration. I read your magazines for years and then we planted the gardens around it and now it's pretty much the center place. How nice. Well, it's beautiful. Thank you for sharing your stories and uh, good luck with your, uh, I call it animal husbandry. Uh, we'll be right back. Terry Golson's chickens brought to you compliments of the streaming video on her website hencam.com. 20,000 people per month check in on her feathered friends and her chickens also star in her book Tilly Lays an Egg. Please welcome Terry and welcome Tilly. Welcome. How beautiful. This is Oh, I was, I was admiring this amazing hen. This is a teaching hen, right? She is I take her to schools and to libraries and introduce children to chickens. And tell us about your beautiful book. It's a charming Thank story. Thank you. It was inspired by this chicken herself. You know, ban this is a bantam white leghorn, and they are adventurous <laughs> and personable and friendly. Look at her. Oh, and she talks. And she lives, oh, she eats your cereal at breakfast. She does. sits on your she sits on your table. Oh, she does the laundry. <laughs> and Terry told me that she has gone on eBay for years and gotten all kinds of chicken uh, ephemera, right? That's right. In order to do this book, I spent a year on eBay and going to flea markets finding the props. And everybody's watching your ha your hens on on your website. They do. I have a website with a live streaming hen cam in my backyard and you can watch this chicken and the other chickens in the book at live. any time at all any the time. time well except for when they're sleeping oh yes of course yes, yes. but uh, there they are so <laughs> cute and now, I, how do you um, get the chickens to pose for the pictures that are in the book well I actually train them very easily chickens you know are they love food they're very food motivated and so this one actually <laughs> eats Cheerios as a snack that's her favorite food it you is? know other chickens like other things uh -huh. but I've learned with this chicken that what she wants are Cheerios and she knows yeah. that mm -hmm. she knows to look at this stick uh -huh. And when she looks at it, she I, gets a treat. Here, let me yes, see. Yes, I, I make a little noise, oh. and she knows. Oh, see, Ooh. she says, "Where's there's the yes," and then she, and then she gets the treat. The book is wonderful. The story is fun. Thank you. And uh, thanks to Scholastic, uh, everyone in our audience is taking home a copy of Tilly Lays an Egg, so you'll.